the snot in my face is just disgusting. The joys of walking outside when it's like negative three. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is an interesting day. Today is actually Sunday, January 8th, but you're not gonna see this until Friday. But I decided to do a series on my channel talking about, you guessed it, Financial Peace University. Today was actually my first class that I attended. So I'm going to try, no promises, but I'm going to try to film a video every single week after my class to tell you what the experience was like and kind of what we learned a little bit. Um, I will leave links below in all of these videos for my Money Talk playlist, which deals all with financial stuff. Um, I use the Dave Ramsey principles as well as I will link the Dave Ramsey website down below. If you decide that you want to search for a Financial Peace University class in your area. That's how I actually found the place that I am going to is I just typed in my zip code and I found a class. So that's as easy as it was. Um, I am not a member of a church. Couldn't find it that way. Um, everybody else in my class is actually members of that specific church that I am going to. So. First off, I wanna tell you what was all in this little Financial Peace University kit. I actually purchased this online. They did have these at my class for purchase if you didn't already have your kit. Um, there was one gal, I think that's one been through the class twice. This is her second time around, but I wanted to show you what you get in the kit. I actually took it all out already, so whatever. Um, okay, so the first thing you get is, this is an audio library. So this has like all the lessons in audio form so if you miss a class or something like that um, I was told by the instructor today that there is like a unique code which I will I'm not going to show you the code but you can actually go online and type in your unique code and you're able to download some of the information too on the Dave Ramsey website which is kind of cool so um, these are great for a refresher or um, if you miss a class you also get this this is the envelope system it's almost like a little like check ledger kind of a thing um, so you get these. Ooh, I almost had all the rest of the stuff fall off my lap. As you guys know, I use a different type of a system for this, but this would be good for some of those like long-term things like car maintenance or car replacement fund or some of those things that kind of like those sinking funds that come up during the year. This might be kind of good for that and I might actually use it for that. I don't know. You also get this. this is like a little welcome box thing. Um, I thought it was just like a little welcome thing and then I was like, oh wait, there's stuff in it because there's stuff inside, guys. Um, all right, so you just kind of open it up. It's kind of hard to open. Ugh. And it has a little pamphlet and it told me what to bring today, which was nice because I didn't know if I had to bring the whole box or what. Um, I just need to bring a membership workbook and my number two pencil. They do provide you with a pencil, an eraser, and a sharpener, which is kind of nice. Um, I actually didn't use a pencil, I used a pen. And then there's like this little, it's like a little bookmark. And also there are two, um, I think these are stickers, probably. Um, this is FPU, live like no one else, and DaveRamsey.com. And this one says, Financial Peace University, DaveRamsey.com. So, that is what was in this little guy. Also, this is part of our homework is reading some of the chapters in this book. This is all like wrapped with cellophane right now. Let me actually rip it off because the glare is really bad. All right, so here is the book without the glare, huh? <laughs> um, but this is the Dave Ramsey Complete Guide to Money. This is the Handbook of Financial Peace University. So um, there was some instruction today to read some of these. So I am actually going to do that possibly on my plane ride that I'm going on. Actually, when you guys see this, I'll already be in Florida. Um, I'm gonna be back in Florida because I am attending a wedding. And then there's also this little folder and it says Financial Peace Forms. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Let me go through this. Oh, wow. There's a whole bunch of like a progress chart thing. Kind of cool, huh? Kind of cool. All right. Wonderful. Um, oh yeah, and then there's like all the baby steps that are on the back of it too. Like baby step one, baby step two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, if you guys are new at this channel and you're wondering where I am in these baby steps, I am on baby step 3B. I'm saving for a house down payment. I actually have all of my house down payment right now, but I am just pushing more and more towards that goal. And once I actually get a house, 
Um, then I'll be doing uh, baby step four, which will be 15% of my income into investments. So, but yeah, that's where I am personally. But um, sounds like a lot of the other people in the class are actually at very different stages, which is kind of cool. And then last but not least, this is also in your little box. This is your workbook, which you need to bring with you every single week. And um, yeah, I just filled this out. Has a whole bunch of information in there. And you know, just kind of talking about all the different steps. And then also, like this is our homework this week. So this week I need to register for the online tools, which is like that little code I was telling you guys about. I need to complete the quick start budget form, which is in the next form back behind here. And then complete the financial reality check. And then the reading assignment is reading the Super Saver chapter in this book. Also, it says extra credit. If you are facing debt collectors or considering bankruptcy, read Credit Sharks in Suits. Um, it is a chapter in this book as well. So that is what the class was all about this week. Um, actually, the class uh, dealt with the baby steps. The, uh, we watched a video. The video was about, I don't know, 45, 50 minutes, somewhere in there. Um, it didn't feel that long uh, at all, really. Even though I've already been through some of the like basics of Dave Ramsey, I feel like I still got something out of it. I mean, I listened to his podcast every single day on my commute and um, ended up talking to one of the other gals after the class and told her about the podcast. She was unaware that he had a podcast and was going to download it on iTunes when she got home because she actually drives a distance for work as well. So um, it kind of works out really great that way. But I kind of made some notes as the class went on. I did realize some things about myself that maybe I didn't actually even know. Like I thought, I mean, we're gonna talk about this more, I guess, in like some of the future lessons, but we're gonna talk about like nerds and free spirit. And I think I've come to realize that I'm not actually as nerdy as I thought I was. I think I'm more of a natural spender. There's something like deep inside me that's like motivating me to keep my money because of the sale, or not the sale, but the impending sale of buying a house. Um, so that's been really motivating for me to kind of keep my money a little bit tighter. So also that's more important even for me to be making sure that I'm on a budget all the time, especially once I buy that house because I feel like that's how things can definitely get out of control and I never ever want to feel that way again and if you watch back on my money talk playlist which is down below you'll see a video that's entitled my financial story um, I definitely recommend watching that because that talks about all the good the bad and the ugly that has happened in my life for like finances and how I am the way I am and what I do and all of that stuff um, so yeah, I don't really think I'm a natural saver, like now really thinking about it, I don't really think I am a natural saver, but I I love goal setting, I think is the best way to describe it. Um, another takeaway from the lesson this week was when you care enough, you can change. Um, that was an interesting lesson because he was kind of talking about you know, if your child, um, I'm not a parent, but a lot of people in the class are parents, you know, if your child needed a medicine that was $5,000 and you couldn't borrow it from a bank and you had to come up with $5,000 real fast, could you do it? And everyone in the, in the audience that he was speaking to in the DVD as well as the entire class was like, absolutely. But it's about you wanting to care enough to change your habits. And I think that was a big eye opener for a lot of people as well as myself. Also, money is really emotional too. Um, a lot of people don't understand that it's, you know, 80% behavior and 20% your earnings of what constitutes having a good financial backing. Um, a lot of it's behavior driven. A lot of it's not going to Starbucks and not going to the drive through and, you know, saying no to yourself and being an adult and you know really budgeting out those expenses um, the next takeaway I got was we like the results of discipline but we don't actually like to be disciplined um, I think that's a big factor is that we love the results we love to see that bank balance go up and up and up and have that financial padding and backing however to actually change our habits is really difficult as human beings and then the next one was everything requires intentionality which means that we need to give every dollar a name have a purpose for everything and making sure that we're not setting ourselves up for not reaching our goals that we want to set for ourselves. So at the end of the class, this is just my like little notebook, at the end of the class they actually had us 
sorry I'm like not talking directly to the camera they had us write something down like our takeaway from it since I'm really not in the baby step one or two which I believe most of the class is probably in it asked for like a one minute takeaway it says what jumped out at you for this lesson and how can it affect your story um, really what Dave did in the actual like DVD this time is really walked through the baby steps and talked about you know all the different things but really focused on like baby step one which is save a thousand dollars and baby step two which is paying all your debts down like a snowball effect and then three which is three to six months of savings so um, my one minute takeaway was I want to start scheduling quarterly giving um, since I am not a member of a church and I'm not looking to be a member of any kind of religious organization I do want to do something with giving um, there is definitely a high correlation between giving Giving and wealth. So I think what I'm going to do is in my monthly budget, I'm actually going to set aside certain dollar amounts depending on the month and put that towards kind of like my giving fund. And then I'll figure out what I want to do from there with the giving money. Um, I could give it away to a stranger. I could tip somebody really big if I was at a restaurant. I could allocate some of that money to give away some stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I feel like that's important for me to do and to feel good about what I I'm doing um, and to help somebody else out so I feel like that is the right thing for me to do at this point and to share some of my money I know that's really baby step seven is to be outrageously generous um, this is not gonna be outrageously generous but it's gonna be within my means of what I can do so I feel like that's really important for this uh, step in my financial peace journey okay so that is it for week number one of my FPU class I hope you guys enjoyed the video feel free to stay tuned I will be posting hopefully another video for next week uh, talking about week two and what we discussed and talked about uh, these videos probably won't be as long as this one is just because I wanted to go over everything that was in the kit I know there's like a home study kit you can do too if you live in an area that doesn't have FPU classes or if you feel like you would get enough out of it doing it on your own versus actually going to a class with other people so I am really excited for this new journey um, actually a good friend of mine is doing FPU for the first time tomorrow and a bunch of you commented that you've either been through FPU or you're starting to take FPU very very soon on my Instagram post when I posted that I was in the class today so that was kind of exciting but anyway all the links to all the things I talked about are gonna be down below for you guys if you have any questions feel free to post them below and I'm gonna try my best to get back to you feel free to thumbs up this video if you liked it and you want to see more of these FPU class videos and I will be back sharing all of my experiences coming up very soon so that's it for me thank you so much for watching feel free to subscribe and I will talk to you later bye guys